listening to your all love K-pop. If you do, welcome to this segment. The K-pop musicians we love. The reason why K-pop is loved all around the world. During this time, I, Sam Carter, and Neve will be closely examining and exploring K-pop through the musician's point of view. Oh, oh my K-pop. K-pop. That's right, listeners, it is Oh My K-Pop time, and that means we've got the amazing Neve joining us in the studio as always. Hello, hello, I am back. So nice to have you with us, buddy. How are you? Ah, oh, great. Yeah. But hectic, a bit tired. Yeah. Uh, big day was uh, yesterday as well, so oh, I'm yeah. kind of like trying to get... Uh, Get rid of this, like, too much of an excitement. Why, why, would, you know, why was yesterday a big day? Because a new single just got dropped yes. yesterday. Yes! Through our company's name. Yeah! <laughs> yes. So I had a, I had a live uh, last night. I had a good time with Nivers. Uh, I talked about anxiety and all that, kind of like different uh, uh, subjects yeah. that they were asking me. So I went on and on and on. So... That was a great time. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and and plus we got so many things to do mm. uh, in the next few weeks. Mm. So preparing for that was like kind of hectic for me as well. So I'm mm. excited and tired at the same time, but I mm. feel really good at the same time. Oh, I know what you mean. It's a good tired. Yes. Right? It's a yes. good tired. It's like a relief, yeah, relieving yeah, yeah. tired. Yeah. I, I know exactly what you mean. Uh, me and Eve, we've got a show to do today. Yes, we do. Mm. We will choose the K-pop musician of the hour, look back on their history from their debut till now, and Sam and I will be analyzing the reason why we think they're loved through our point of view. Mm-hmm. And uh, we also need the uh, listeners' participation during this time. Mm-hmm. Of course, during the middle of the segment, Sam and I will be side tracks that we like by the artist. And uh, for today's K-pop musician, send in a song by them that you want to listen to. Tell us why you became this artist's fan. And lastly, you can always send in your request for the K-pop musician that you want us to closely examine. We will actively reflect your opinions. Yes, we will. Uh, mm. By the way, me and Eve, we are doing a video message for one very lucky listener. Yes. Okay, um, so let's get going with um, today's K-pop musician of the day. Ooh. Today's K-pop musician is our favorite, Moonbyeol. Mm-hmm. Uh, she debuted in 2014 as a member of the four-member girl group Mamamoo, who released a number of hit songs, including Umoaye, You Are uh, the Best, Non is Mandel, Tekai Komani, Naro Marai Ko Katmen, Yes I Am, and Starry Night, Pyeri Binan Bam. Mm. And she show off uh, various charms, including charismatic rapping and unique mid-low pitched vocals and excellent performances on the stage and she's a musician who has been loved by the public and she wrote her own rapping uh, the rap lyrics and um, there are a lot of lists that she participated in writing the lyrics and she's active in various fields such as variety shows and fashion and she's all uh, an all-round entertainer who shows off her talent and recently she released her first full-length solo album in 10 years since her debut, and an artist who is growing every moment. Uh, let's meet the uh, singer-songwriter, Moonbyeol. Right yes. Um, this should be fun, guys. The brilliant Moonbyeol we're going to talk about. Shall we um, firstly go through a bit of uh, a bit of um, basic info, right? Mm-hmm. Her real name is Moon Pyori. So uh, her surname is actually Moon, which is interesting. Mm. And oh, I didn't know that. It's, wow. It's a cute name, isn't it? Yeah. Moon Pyori. Um, cool. Now, uh, on the day Moonbyeol was born, the stars twinkled. It's a pure Korean name made by her father to mean be a shining person. Mm. Uh, she did become that, by the way. Yes. Um, when totally. she, yeah, absolutely. When she was young, she was preparing to become a singer, joined SM Academy, uh, dreamt of becoming a singer while covering the choreography of TVXQ. Uh, during the Mr. Uh, M.M. or Hall, Mr. Ambiguous promotion, she gained a lot of popularity when she said the lines, Are you interested in me? Obviously, she said it better than that, right? Uh, she modified the lyrics of the Kokomani on stage to celebrate the Blue Dragon Film Awards. Um, Chong Song, will you go out with me if I drink this one shot? That became a hot topic. Mm. Again, she said it. Oh, a bit better than that, you know. You, you sound great too. Oh, thank you. A bit so, robotic, but you know. Anyways, thank you. I have something to say, but I'm not. Gonna... Yeah, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, from uh, from uh, from long hair to shortcuts, all hairstyles look great on her. Uh, apparently, she also looks like Lee Min Hyuk of B2B, 
Exoshielmin as well. Ah, yeah, mm. okay. Um, so, she's the only rapper in the vocal group Mamma Moo. She said she didn't really want to rap, even though she has such a unique colour. But now that she thinks about it, she said it was a wise decision. Now, uh, in the vocal survival, um, a girl group um, main rappers, Tubonje uh, Sege, the second world competition, she gave confidence and really grew through that. And as a member of Mamma Moo celebrated 10 years together, she was engaged in group tour activities up until last year. She says she'll focus on her personal activities, though, this year. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice, interesting. And new music information uh, is one of the double title songs from the first full length album, Star- uh, Starlit of uh, Muse, Starlit of Muse, uh, released on February 20th. 2024, it uh, sold a total of 100 and, uh, 101,000 copies, almost, mm. uh, during the week of its release, achieving its own initial career high. Mm. Uh, with an M, uh, album that has the concept of nine muses, uh, the Roman mythology projects, uh, the music of Mumbil on the nine goddesses of each field and this is a dance song with uh, Mumbiel's vocals that go well with a rhythmic tempo and acoustic sound Mumbiel uh, referred to the keyword of the title song as uh, rediscovering uh, Mumbiel and during the interview she said that she wishes uh, people to know that Mumbiel sang like this Mumbiel is doing music like this and she wanted to win first place on music charts if she wins first place she will do the busking um, so singing on the street right and the lyrics show uh, Moonbeer's confidence uh, to touching and moving the hearts of listeners uh, with bold sounds mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. so there we go we're talking about the amazing Moonbeer today mm-hmm. um, what an incredible album she's put out um, what an incredible album I uh, I have to say, I had the pleasure of doing a little bit of work with her for this album. Mm. Um, oh! So one of the songs I didn't I didn't write anything for, for the for this song, but there's a there's a B side track that I'm going to talk about later. Mm-hmm. I helped her with. It was my first time meeting her in person. Can I just say she is she is really hardworking. Mm. We, we only had we because she, she's so busy. We had a very short time to record the song, and I got there maybe nine p.m. Uh-huh. and we finished at like two a.m. And oh, it was yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was. Uh, she was exhausted, but she worked so hard. But she was really nice at the same time. It was powered I, through, huh? I was so impressed with her. So impressed because oh. that for a solo artist to record for that long, it's really difficult, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I mean, um, you know, that's the weight of the crown, I guess. Yeah, but, you know, she she holds it very well. So cool. Too. So yeah, uh, Mumbia's been always like the in a unique position for me. She yeah. raps and she sings, and then she's yeah. very charismatic. Mm. Uh, something about Mumbia, you know, and, and yeah. also with their hardworking um, method, I think that's yeah. what got her here. Mm. Definitely, I've got to say the new title song, which I, I heard before it came out, mm-hmm. such touching the moving, such a good song, um, brilliantly produced song. I love the fact it shows every side of of Mumbia, strong rap. She's got great, she's got a great vocal tone as well, mm. um, which shines in this song. The melody's so good, really rhythmic. If you haven't heard it yet, then um, I think maybe we should listen to it first and talk more. Right, yeah. I, haven't, I haven't heard it yet, All right, so man. I'm very excited. So this is Touching and Moving uh, by Mumbia. There we go, touching and moving by Moon Girl of Mama Moo. Ooh. Good song, huh? Yes. So makes, good. Makes us move too. Even yeah. though, even though I, I don't know how to dance, but you know, it kind of makes you wanna yeah. touch it and move it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, um, really, really good song. Really, really good song. I actually mm. met the producer of this one, who's called uh, uh, um, Kim Mingi at, at RBW, right? Mm-hmm. And I was like such an honor to meet him. He's one of the big producers at RBW. Right, right, right. He made this song. Ooh. And I was like, bro, this is such a good song. Such a good song. It is a very powerful, yet very, it, it's, it has that, it's a fusion of so many genre it uh, is. combined together. But like, uh, they harmonizes, uh, each genre harmonizes uh, in the song, mm. uh, in their own 
balanced way. Um, for example, you know the the drum beat and the, how the bass moves, but like at the top end of like hi hat and toppers, how they move. It's it's just like and on top of that, of course, Moonbeer's uh, unique mm. vocal and her her own tone kind of made the song shine yeah so i think that's the power of her too like i yeah. I, I believe in power of the artists when they have their unique energy yeah absolutely um, no matter what kind of song they do mm. it's it's just theirs yeah you know what i mean that that's definitely the case mm. and, it, and what i love about it is like it's, it sounds like a title song do you know what I mean? Just S- screams out that like it should be title song. It's yes. the title of any album. Mm-hmm, this mm-hmm. song, she does this great job. Yes. Cool. So we're talking about Moonbird today. Mm-hmm. Please send in the song by them that you want to hear, and also tell us about the reason why you became their fan. That would be lovely. Mm. Um, right, guys. What we're going to do is listen to three of Moonbird's excellent songs. Um, that maybe could be her representative songs. I think. Mm-hmm. And uh, we ready? Yes. Let's go. <laughs> 바라보니 All right mate song number 1 we're on to This is called 달이 태양에 가릴 때 Eclipse uh, the title song from the second solo album Dark Side of the Moon released on February 14th 2020 On the first day of the album's release a sales exceeded uh, 59,000 copies and it ranked the fourth female solo artist of all time in sales volume and a hip hop dance song with a powerful and punchy beat uh, is what describes the song and it has a dynamic track that's com- uh, coming up soft and getting rough with Moonbeer's vocal combined to create a more fascinating sound and the music video that shows Moonbeer's facial expression clearly distinguishes good from evil inside. And the lyrics are characterized by maximizing um, ambivalence uh, through the medium of moon. And the moon in the dark covering the sun, a monster, a star filled with bright light, moon star, uh, show overwhelming presence with clear contrast in the video. Mm. Oh, I've got to say, I love this song from her. Mm. Like, everything about it is just perfect. Mm. So charismatic she is, right? Right. And that, that hook line. Uh, that part so good uh, yeah and it, 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 it talking about the moon but like it, it kind of like uh, it vibes with her artist name too you know, yeah it just works perfectly it together. does it does I also love the fact that she shows off this side of her like just straight up rap monster right and then just sort of dark but also incredibly beautiful melody she sings so beautifully as well like this part right right her tone's so beautiful it sounds sounds like it's supposed to be very rough, but with her voice on top of it, it kind of becomes more soft. It so does. That's what makes a song really unique, yeah. too, I think. It's mm. such a great song. Love this one. Should we listen to a little bit more? It's called Tari uh, Teang Al Karilte Eclipse. All right, moving on to song number two. Mm, this is called Lunatic, uh, the title song of the third mini album sequence released on January 19th, 2022. Moonbyeol actively participated in the song uh, Work and Concept Planning. It's an album that shows various charms of her and Brazil, Philippines, Malaysia, Peru, uh, Mexico, Poland, etc. etc. Top iTunes, top song chart in 11 countries and regions around the world. And the music video also ranked second on YouTube's trending worldwide, proving Moonbeer's hot global popularity. And a house genre song with an addictive hook is what describes this song. And styling such as leather jacket, uh, ponytails, and unique eye makeup provided unique attractions for each stage in the song. And the lyrics have the image of uh, the lover in the period of power she expressed uh, various emotions in a hip way. Very hip indeed. Mm. I love this hook of this song. It's really cool, huh? Very hip. <laughs> very, very cool. Yes. 
Um, I like the fact that with Mumbia, it's just all of her songs. She just shows, she shows everything that she can do as an artist. I think. Right. You know, great vocals, great rap, uh, performance. Every title song she's put out, she really does just show everything that she's about. Right, and it's, I think they went really clever with the title of the song too. The name of the song is called Lunatic. You know, Lunatic. You know, when we say it, I know we we all know what it means, but then it kind of calls for that moon too. It's the Luna. Yeah, Luna. Genius. So it's like Lunatic. So it's like it's very clever. Mm. Yeah, very very clever. Mm. Um, love this one as well, so catchy too. I'm sure lots of you will be singing along in no time. This one is called Lunatic. Here we go. Uh, shall I introduce? This uh, is very different. This is called Trying to Say Goodbye. Sotun Ibyarul Hadehe, single released on March 28, 2022. It's a new remake of Casting in the Room that hit listeners' tastes. It has a variety of unique vocals and high-end songs to match each other. Yun Toven, who is active as a singer-songwriter and composer, released uh, the song in 2019. Chan Sang-gun featured in the song, and it got a lot of attention on social media, uh, accepting that the end of love is a breakup. The lyrics calmly prepare for the breakup. Mm. Um, I remember when this first came out, I was like, what? Vumbil does ballads as well, yeah, and really well. Mm. I mean, I, I think she has it in her if, uh, that that ballad, mm. the ballad queen, mm. uh, blood in her. It's so yeah. sad. Yeah, I know. Her voice is incredibly sad in this song. I know. I don't know what she was going through, or maybe she's just a great artist. I don't know. Wow. You can hear it though. Well, you can feel it though. Like it's yeah. it's, but like. I, I think the core lies uh, in ballad as well, in, in every emotions that we feel. Uh, there is some kind of like sadness to it, even mm. though you're happy. Uh, I think sadness is one of the strongest emotions. And then the one who can express that emotion well, uh, I would say uh, it's a very mature artist. Yeah. So I think she's very mature too. Yeah, no uh, doubt. In a way, as a person uh, and also as an artist, and who's very open yeah. to different genres. You can hear that. You can yeah. hear her maturity. Mm -hmm. um, love how it tones a bit different in this song. Very airy. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's stunning. Um, have a listen to it, guys. It's called uh, Sotuni Better Had Your Hair Trying to Say Goodbye. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Uh, three amazing songs that we just heard from uh, uh, from Mumbo from her catalogue mm -hmm. discography. Um, some great songs there. Um, let's have a look and see what people are saying, by the way. A lot of people saying Lun they love Lunatic. Noah says Lunatic's my fave. Yes. Um, Bahar says knee reaction was accurate with the song Yes. I was mm. like, come on. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Wendy also writes in lovely, smoothly added to my playlist. Mm. Great, great, great song. Mm. Um, talking about... Um, um, uh, Eclipse as well. Bahar says very pleasant dark vibe, mm. uh, which is cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, everyone really enjoying it. Um, good stuff. So we're talking about Moonbyal today. Yes. yes, please send in the song by them that you want to hear, and also tell us about the reason why you became their fan. That'll be absolutely lovely, guys. Make sure you do take part and write 
in. Yes. Um, cool. So uh, me and Neve, we went and um, chose some songs from uh, Bumbio. And yes. um, I'm, I was really curious about what you were going to pick, actually. Well, I mean, um, it, I think the song that I brought for today, kind of, it's a continuation of what we just heard. Because mm-hmm. I brought Ballad. Mm-hmm. But it's a ballad song that's sung by Moonbear. Uh, and it's actually uh, the last track of the very recently released album. Yeah. It's called Kobina mm. Without. So basically, it's a, it's a ballad song. It's, uh, it follows a typical uh, ballad line to it, but then s- somewhat they added some kind of like trendy synth and trendy um, ambience. Uh, in the song that mm. made uh, this like a specific mood to the song. Yeah. But what really impressed me was uh, Mumbia's way of mm, really comprehending the song, like kind of like dissecting uh, the emotion that's buried in the song. So it's basically, it's called like Kobina Without. So in the song, you are talking about that it's, it's very... Uh, uh, it's saying that I'm scared of our breakup. That's basically what the song is about. And that feeling, to express that, mm. you really have to be able to not fake it. <laughs> yeah, It's very hard uh, to be real yeah. when you sing the ballad. Mm. That's how I feel. Um, especially ballad, because it's very emotional. Yeah. But Mumbiel has has that it factor and uh, when it comes to ballad too so that's why I, when i heard the uh, trying to say goodbye uh, what we listened to it just now uh i was like come on mm. another one yeah <laughs> she's great at them she's yeah great. so so that's why i brought the song for you guys because i'm sure that people who love moonbill are very kind of like they they are already aware of what moonbill can do right mm. but i wanted to bring the song uh, for you guys to let you guys know that she can do more. <laughs> she yeah. can be more. Right, because there, there are some people who have no idea that, she, that she's even released maybe some ballad songs, right? Right. So right. I think it's a great opportunity to get to know that side of her as well. Mm-hmm. She's, she's known as Mama Moo's rapper, but I think now she's kind of in her own sort of all-rounder kind of zone. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I think mm. she found her own sanctuary too. Mm. Uh, and also... Uh, I myself, actually, while studying her music, I didn't know that she did a uh, ballad like this. Yeah. So it was a very refreshing moment for me. Good, man. I'm so excited to hear it. Do you want to introduce it for the listeners? Mm, yes. This is Kabina Without by Mumbi. Beautiful. Love that. Copy now without. Again, she knows how to do these songs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She knows how to do them. Uh, Marion writes an emotional song. Very emotional. I am touched. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Um, Good stuff indeed. (laughs) Bad boys becoming good boys. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) That didn't last long. I had to say it. I had to say it. It didn't last very long, did it? No. No. It it stops very quickly. Mm -hmm. Mm. Okay. Um, So, listeners, uh, we've had lots of people writing. We've clearly got some Mumbio fans. Yes. Yeah. Shall we uh, get into them? Yes, sir. So, uh, let me go first. So, I got the message from Wendy saying, that greetings Sam Lee fans among uh, the 1000 YouTube links that Irina sends uh, to make me keep up with the latest releases Moonbill's comeback was one of the videos uh, and the song is quite groovy if you feel a bit in bad mood good song to shake it off uh, just like she says in the lyrics another song that's pleasing to the ears is The Lady in collab uh, collaboration with Pumpkey and it feels raw and rich at the same time, which is beautiful. Anyway, thanks for reading. Take good care of uh, and have a warm day. You too, Wendy. 
Yep, good Thank message. Uh, I've also got uh, Jenga writing in. Oh mm-hmm. dear, what to say about Queen Mumbiol? All of Mamamoo are queens. Amazingly talented and hilarious. She can both rap and sing amazingly at both. My favourite solo track of hers is still Cheese in the Trap. Good song, that one, Jenga. Really fun song, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Now I got a message from Benny saying that Hello, Sam C and Eve and Happy Tuesday. What should I say about the rapper and singer Mumbiol of Mamamoo? That she is a multi-talented genius. As of every week, I am listening to her brilliant uh, brilliant tracks, especially her previous releases. I should always recognize how being a fan of the group and the members' solo activities as well. Here are the song choices that I'd like to recommend for newer fans of Mumbia. Uh, Lunatic, uh, NG999 featuring uh, Mirani, Sotuni uh, Biraharuhe, trying to say goodbye. You got that right. <laughs> Selfish uh, featuring Sulgi of Red Velvet, mm. Promise You with Solar Under the uh, Revive project Paliban half of half uh, with Kaho um, and Love Blossoms from the OST of Stronger Namsun uh, Chemistry A Miracle Three Days Ago My Moon CITT Cheese in the Trap mm, 머리 끝, 머리에서 발끝까지 Shutdown featuring Sari and Tari Teangarite Eclipse and Noon Snow There are a lot of her other songs that featured uh, on other artists' songs so Uh, also listen to it uh, have a great Tuesday everybody thank you Benny mm. wonderful 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 great song choices yep um, I've also got um, oh Leon oh my god is that uh, another essay that I'm he's seeing? done it again he's done it again Leon so again. Um, we now go to reporter Leon from Singapore writing in and Leon <laughs> says the following Mumbiol a member of the talented K-pop girl group Mamamoo she's on a mission to transcend her established role as a rapper in a recent interview she expressed her desire to evolve as an artist, acknowledging her decade-long presence in the entertainment industry, but aiming to push beyond her limits, despite being known for her rap contributions within Mamamoo. She actively works on improving her vocal and dancing skills through lessons. In her first studio album, Starlet of Muse, uh, Mumbiol explores various genres across across 12 tracks. A retro punk pop lead track, Think About, disco-infused, touching a move-in. Mumbiol's involvement extends to composing and writing lyrics for two tracks, Like a Fall After Sunset, the latter reflecting a contemplation on past love during a sunset. Um, so the album concept takes inspiration from the nine muses of Greek mythology, with Mumbiol considering her fans as her primary muse, expressing gratitude towards her fans. Uh, she reveals plans for a world tour to connect with them further. And um, reflecting on her artistic journey, she breaks free from her rapper image with Starlet of Muse, incorporating band music, brass elements. She emphasizes her active role in the album's production, making decisions that align with her artistic vision. Standout track, Memories, features RBW's boy band One We, showcasing Mumbio's newfound appreciation for band music. Despite her interest in starting her own band, she remains humble, acknowledging the challenges involved. And uh, Mumbiol extends her artistic vision beyond music, offering fans unique merchandise, limited edition tote bag, uh, creative photo cards. And um, yeah, it's the first ever Four Lent Solo album, mm, symbolizing her artistic evolution. Um, let's talk about some of the songs. Dual title tracks, Think About and Touch in a Move in, showcase Mumbiol's versatility. Think About dis- uh, delivers a disco funk vibe, contemporary R&B influences. Uh, Touching and Moving brings a playful retro funk pop style and Mumbiol's unique vocal tombra. Oh, I like that word. Vocal tombra and tomboy image blend seamlessly with the diverse musical genres. Mm, so, um, among the B-side tracks, her self-composed track Like a Fool stands out with its soft and comforting R&B groove. It offers a raw portrayal of a jealous ex-lover showcasing Mumbiol's emotional depth. So, in summary, Starlet of Muse is more than an album. It's a testament to Mumbiol's journey as an artist breaking free from predefined roles with a mix of genres, personal compositions and a nod to mythology. Mumbiol invites listeners to join her in this bold exploration of her musical identity. Mm. <laughs> That was well, a good essay. Well said. Well said. Well read, Sam. Thank you. <laughs> a pause. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Do you know what I, what I love about that? I think it emphasizes the fact that this was a really important album for Mumbiari. It's a first full-length album. Mm-hmm. And with your first full-length album, it's, it's got to be perfect. It's not, you're showing the world who you are 
with 12 songs, right? Right. Um, and I remember when I, so I was recording with her, one of the songs I'm going to talk about, and we, we, we had some time to talk a little bit because um, the engineer was late. So, <laughs> so, me, so me and, me, me and Mumbio were kind of talking. That, that happens rarely. It's very rare. Yeah, very rare. engineers being late. I don't know. I don't know what, I can't remember the situation, but so, yeah. Something, something yeah. probably happened, yeah. We, we have five minutes to chat. Mm. And I was like, yeah, how's the album going? And she was like, oh, I've got so much to do. Because I think she'd only recorded two or three songs. Mm -hmm. And so she's like, she she looks as if she might get overwhelmed but now that I've heard the whole album I think she's done such a great job really really good job with this album so mm. right right lots yeah. of thoughts put into it and then the fact that she participated in every step of the way of making the album yeah must have been very uh, I mean very hard journey absolutely I'm sure it's it's worth it yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely, absolutely. Um, cool. So, uh, guys, the song that I'm going to talk about, I chose a song for you. And like I said before, I had the opportunity to be a, one, a vocal director for one of her songs. There's a song that um, is song number 10 on the album called Gold. Mm -hmm. um, I did a little bit of lyric stuff as well for the song. Because um, it's all in English, this song, interestingly. Mm. All in English. I think she wanted to give um, that a go. Nice. And um, it's a really, really cool song, actually. A really, really cool song. Kind of medium, very kind of poppy. And um, um, it's a song which which kind of needs a lot of sort of vocal expression. And um, yeah, we, as I said, we worked really, really hard in the studio for a while. It was a very long session, actually. For, I mean, five hours for a solo artist is tough. It is tough. It sounds tough. It yeah. must have been tough. Yeah, but she was she was so good. She was really, really great. Mm -hmm. And it's a song which is perfect for Moonbell. It's a song about, I'm going to shine bright, you know, um, I'm, I'm going to be more confident, like like the like the colour gold, right? Right. And um, yeah, um, she did such a good job with this one. It was uh, it was fun doing it as well, and really, really good song. A couple of people that I know wrote this one, actually. Mm. Um, brilliant. Nick Lee, Christy Young's Julia Ross were on this song, mm, Julia Ross. Um, who are fantastic. Nick Lee did... Um, suffer CL in the past very talented producer mm. and um, yeah it's um, such a cool song and I, I was really really happy actually to get a chance to um, to, to, to work on it so mm -hmm. yeah maybe a fun song for you guys to uh, have a good old listen to a song that really shows off her confident side you know yes. which is a side we probably we, we're used to a little bit but mm -hmm. you know it's uh, it's nice um, so many other great songs on this album you've got to listen to the whole album I think I think I will uh, after this show I think I'm gonna you know, on my yeah. way back I'm gonna take a listen to the entire song yeah because uh, <laughs> there are some great ones on here yeah some great ones on here um, it's been lovely talking about Mumbo today mm. um, she really is um, um, somebody who's um, obviously in a super group uh, Mama Moo but also shining as a wonderful solo artist as well, I think she's gonna, she's gonna be very successful. Yeah, I'm also wondering about you know her next step too after this uh, full length album. I'm curious about what her footsteps gonna lead her yeah. to the you know next stage. Very true. Because I'm sure, and I know for sure that. Uh, she just started. It exactly. feels like she just started. Yeah, I agree. With this album. I agree. Uh, and I'm very excited to see what comes next. Yeah, mm. absolutely. So that was nice, guys, talking about Mumbio. Um, next week, um, buddy, we're talking about another very talented artist. Mm, and and she's very, very hot these days, right? Mm. Uh, she's BB. we're going to be talking about. Yeah, man. Can't wait for this. We're talking about PB next week, guys. Mm. That's going to be fun. Uh, Neve, thanks for coming in to see us. Thank you so much, Sam. Always. Yeah. Up. And listeners, thank you for joining us as well. That's it for today's show. We'll see you next week. This is Super K-Pop. I'm your host, Sam Carter. The last song we're going to play is uh, Moonbeer's Gold. And uh, we'll say goodbye for now. Love you, universe. Bye. I hope you enjoyed today's podcast. If you're interested in more information about the show Super K-Pop, make sure you go to the official homepage, that is www.adidangradio.com and check out the Super K-Pop page.